okay welcome back to studio g this is maurice in today's video we're going to be talking about a few snap updates and the first thing i want to talk about is food stamps for seniors on social security and i got this from my email from a site called worldwire.com so if you want to follow along with me you can just go to worldwire.com okay so this article is saying how food stamps or snap benefits should go hand in hand with your social security check so if you're a person on social security whether it be retirement or disability you should also be receiving snap benefits so that it, so it won't take up all your cash buying food throughout the month okay so snap and social security do go hand in hand and this article walks you through everything it tells you how these food stamps work basically if you don't know if this is your first time on one of my videos food stamp and snaps are the same thing they used to be called food stamps now now it's called the snap benefit or snap ebt cards and what it is you can go to the grocery store the government gives you a certain amount of money per month on the card or as a benefit and you can use this to buy food so you won't be hungry or anything so this part right here stuck out to me the most it says food stamps for seniors on social security food stamps are exclusively helpful for seniors who do not have enough money to eat healthy guys the purpose of food stamps or snap benefits is so that you can eat healthy if you're not eating healthy with your snap benefits i'm not going to go ahead and, and be telling people what to eat or what to buy but you should try to eat healthy as healthy as possible okay so basically snap stands for supplemental nutrition assistance program and it, it, it help you if you're on social security so if you're on social security and not getting snap benefits leave a comment below and i'm gonna reply back with the link on how you can apply for snaps and how to do it okay so if you're above 60 years old if you're disabled you can get it so it has certain criteria and it'll it'll go over the criteria most of you guys should already qualify if you're retired now one thing that's going on they want to make people work some people are gonna have to start working in order to get the snap benefits i think starting in september if i'm not mistaken okay so i just want to bring this to you guys attention really quick and show you what's going on with snap and social security okay and the next thing i want to bring to you, you guys attention is the social security expansion act that's being introduced by bernie sanders and what this act will do it will give seniors and people on social security an extra twenty four hundred dollars per year which breaks down to about two hundred dollars per month now this bill is con con currently going through the process of what bills had to go through in the congress and the senate and so the act will offer anyone who is currently a social security recipient or will turn 62 in 2023 an extra 200 in each monthly check the newest draft of the social security what's the name of it? expansion act the ssea also provides a solution to increase funding now how they're going to increase funding we've been talking about this for several months now they're going to uh, make people who make over four hundred thousand dollars pay into the social security fund so that's not what's happening right now it's capped at one hundred and sixty thousand. so anybody who makes over one hundred sixty thousand per year anything over that is not being taxed into social security and if they start taxing those people the fund will last and you could give the extra 200 per month okay so as an estimate right now as we speak that the social security fund could run out of money by 2035 guys that's not that far away we see how time flies this year went by pretty quick it's already time for a new presidential election almost okay so i want to bring this to your attention really quick okay last but not least i want to tell you guys about this uh this little situation right here i'm on nbc news and the title of this article is house republicans push for tighter stamp rules some states are acting them okay so kansas if you live in the state of kansas 
Candace passed an expanded work requirement this week that makes it harder for older residents to qualify for food assistance, part of a growing conservative push to win now snap rolls as the pandemic recedes. So basically, if you're between the ages of 50 and 59 and you receive SNAP benefits, you will soon need to work at least 30 hours per week if you live in Kansas. OK, so that's something I want to bring to you guys attention. If you live in Kansas or you have a relative in Kansas and they have food insecurity, I want to tell you guys also about the food bank in your area. If you're having any kind of food insecurities, you can go to this website, feedingamerica.org. It's feedingamerica.org. And on this site, you can look for where how to find your local food bank. You can just surf around on the site. And it, it, let, me, let me go to that part. Let me see. And when you click on something okay okay so you click right here we see right here where my mouse is said find a food bank once you get into the site you can find your local food bank guys don't be sitting around here being hungry and stuff when it's, it's organizations that will help you get something to eat i don't want to see anyone hungry if you if you're having a, a tough time getting food leave a comment below and i'm gonna go ahead and link the site in the comments for you guys also, if you're not, if you're a senior and you're on Social Security, leave a comment below if you're getting food stamps or not. If you're not getting food stamps and you're a senior, if you leave a comment up below saying that you don't get food stamps and you're a senior, I'm going to go ahead and leave a link, a comment back with the link on where you can apply for this. OK, guys, don't go around being hungry. That's not what was. That's 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 not right. That's just not right. OK, so, guys, real quick, I just wanted to thank you for watching this video. Also, real quick, before you go, I want to tell you about Amazon Food Stamp Snap Program. Hey, guys, real quick, before you go, I want you to scroll down to the comments and you're going to see this comment that I left. It's going to say Amazon EBT and Snap Access. You're going to click on this particular link and it's going to bring you right over here to Amazon's EBT access point. And with Amazon Access Point, you can check your SNAP balance right here online. They will, you can shop and get your groceries delivered, or you can pick them up and you get a wide selection of fruits, vegetables, poultry, and fish, also dairy and pro products. You also get a almost 50% off some of your groceries. So it's a really good thing for SNAP users who may live in a food desert or there are not a lot of grocery stores in your area. So don't forget, scroll down to the bottom, to the comment section of this video and click this link right here that says Amazon. Thanks again, guys, and have a great day.